What's happening everybody? Sean Daniel with Guitar Control here today. We're going to do a cool little uh, rock lesson about combining one particular interval, potentially my favorite interval, again just space between two notes, and the minor pentatonic scale to kind of come up with some cool licks that you might want to incorporate in your playing. So make sure you click the link below because I'm going to tab out everything we're doing here and it's going to sound something like this. So, what's a minor 7 interval? All it is, it's the distance between a root note and the 7th note in its minor scale. So if we're talking about A, and we are, A minor, the A minor scale looks like this. So that's going to be the first figure uh, in the tab from the link below. 5E, 7E, 8E, 5A, 7A, 8A, 5D, and 7D. So, the interval is just a space between maybe like a root note and any of those. So like a minor third would be the difference between the, the fifth fret and the eighth fret. One, two, three. But I want to grab seven. So the cool thing about uh, guitar is you can really combine these and I think they sound really great. Like if you just hit the fifth fret on the E string and the fifth fret on the D string and then kind of strum it. And then when I do this, you'll notice that my pointer finger is kind of muting the A string. We can do this in three different locations, or over three different chords, the, of the three minor chords, right? So A, other minor chords in the key of A minor would be D, the 10th right here, and the 12th fret. So, so right off the bat, that's just kind of something that always sounds cool that you can do in the key of A minor, in the key of C, it's really the same key. A, it's minor seven, which is a G. to find uh, the alphabetical letter that is a minor seven, just go back one, right? So in A, you can count forward, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or you just go back one, the note before A in the musical alphabet is G, so on and so forth, right? It is a full step behind. So there's that A, we can either go to it's minor seven above it, or it's minor seven below it. It's always two frets, back step back. So aside from just getting a root note as minor 7, which I always think it sounds really cool when you slide into the root note and then hit it, you can always find that same note octave down, two frets back, where you start the same with the other one. That right there is kind of a cool little exercise. Slide above below. Slide above below. Slide above below, slide above below. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add notes from the A minor pentatonic to kind of just start jamming and just inserting something after these chords. Okay, so 5E, e, 8E, e, 5 7 on the A string, 5 7 on the D string, 5 7 on the G string, 5 8 on the B string, and 5 8 on the E string. So, I'm kind of thinking of this as being like my home bass. Now after I get these chords played, I can jump into like a little like riff or like, so we'll do a couple of them together. This first one's really easy, it's super identifiable. Five to seven on the D string, five G, and then end up on the A to kind of resolve this phrase, so to speak, on the seventh row of the D string, which is an A. That guy right there. Now we can really do this over any of the minor chords in this key, but I want to come back to this one. So A, D minor, E, A minor, E, E. Now again, remember I said we could do that over any of them. So what that would sound like if we have A, D, E, D spot, A, Spot. 
So there's like a million different things you can do with that. So again, I'm gonna do that one one more time. I'm also gonna tab that one out. Where we're gonna slide from the minor seven to the root note. Hit the minor seven from that. So from G to A here. And then I'm gonna mute the D string two times. So slide, minor seven. Or my picking hand is going down up. And then I'm gonna go into that little riff thing. Five to seven, five G, back to the root note, octave up. The cool thing about uh, minor pentatonic stuff is you can double stop through them. So if you wanna get. You can kind of just maybe hit a couple extra notes around there. It'll always sound good as long as you're, you know, barring it. So slide. That's going to be our, our entire lick, if you want to call it that, over A, A minor. This is just a replacement for an A minor chord. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on the 10th fret. Maybe slide from the 10th frets, minor 7, D, C to D, 8 to 10, 10, D, then get that mute, 10 to 12 hammer on, 10, G, 12. Again, this is a D minor riff, something like that. Then we're already in this position, slide from 10 to 12, D to E, get uh, the 12th fret, D to 14. 12 G, and then 14, then back to A. Almost the farther you slide, the better it sounds because you're building that anticipation. Oh, and then you hit the minor seven. Oh, it just feels so good. So, really more than anything, it's just a lesson in one of my favorite intervals. One of what I think is like a very rock interval, right? And uh, you can really experiment with any sorts of intervals. That's what, really what the lesson is about, is just finding stuff that you like. If you like the sound of, you know, a root note, and it's minor third to its fifth. You do that on any of those chords still. Again, that was just taking a root note, three frets higher. It's fifth, one, five, like a power chord. And then just kind of hitting that chord afterwards. Super fun kind of thing you can do that you can incorporate some a little bit of music theory along with some of that pentatonic goodness that I'm sure you know you've seen before. So check that out. Make sure you grab the links. So you can kind of play along with it and put that stuff anywhere you feel like it. And then uh, hit us up in the comment section, letting letting us know what you guys want to see next. And then click on some of the videos surrounding me here by myself. Other fantastic guitar control instructors, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot.